Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? It is Twin Plays here, back again with another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to make a kill cam GUI. I don't have my webcam on because it is just the morning, so I'm kind of in a, you know, deep kind of mood. So, <laughs> um, feel free to join the Discord if you haven't. Uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway at 100 members, we are super close, so that's, that's almost there. Um, but yeah, feel free to join that. And then another thing is, so please subscribe while you can. We had a lot of people who aren't subscribed, but um, I'm so grateful right now with the 1,150 subscribers. That's amazing, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so first things first is uh, I actually didn't uh, make this. I got this from people. It's a secret. Um, <laughs> but I will be explaining how to use it and something to do with it. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually something you can use. Um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be grabbing the model, and once you get the model, you're going to be putting it in Starter GUI right over here. Um, once you get Starter GUI, it's going to be named Killcam GUI, and you don't need to worry about that. There's going to be a local script, a frame, and a text button. Now, if you want, let's just do the frame first, talking about how to customize it. So there's going to be this right here. It's going to say Killed You. Um, I'm going to be making another video on how to do custom words because we already had a talk thing talking about how there's those custom words, and uh, I kind of want to make an advanced one. So I'm going to be doing that in like another tutorial, maybe with the FPS series on how to do it. So it's a certain amount of words and, you know, and a certain kind of stuff. Um, and it kind of matches with the kill feed, you know what I mean? Um, so there's this frame right here and the text label, and then there's going to be the UI gradient. The gradient is if you want to customize this, you can just double click that, click on these things, change the color to whatever you'd like. So this is your choice, any type, uh, see how it changed right there. So feel free to do that if you want to customize it. If you don't want a gradient, you can do whatever you want with that. You can delete the gradient. If you did that, you can delete that. Um, text color, the font, everything's the same. You can just change this all you'd like. Uh, so if you want, you can do like Indie Flower or that. Let's see. Let's see. If, let's find a good one that we can just use for whatever that works. So what's going to be happening in this script? Let's open this up. So there's just a few things. First of all, we're going to have the link, locals, and then we're going to have the function. Um, also, uh, if you guys didn't know, this is all you need for this model to work. But I will be telling you guys a few things in it that are pretty important to know. That is kind of weird that I figured out. Um, so first of all, we're going to be getting the locals, uh, we're going to grab the camera, which is of the person, of course, and then we're going to be grabbing the frame, which is going to be script.parent.frame, so what's going to happen is it's going to be this script, it's going to go to the parent, which is going to be right here, so if you guys don't understand, uh, parents and children, parent is basically the main thing that's holding everything, and the children are actually what's everything inside, so we have the parent right here, and then we have two children, I guess you could say, so you could say, children and then uh, so you say script this is gonna be the main thing and then dot parent so it's gonna be like this and then dot uh frame so we're gonna be grabbing the parent uh the frame of this parent which is gonna be right here and it's named frame too so you're all good to do that um another thing is that when you if you were to have like another thing like frame and have this inside you would uh put parent dot parent because it's gonna be another parent right here and then you put an uh, so yeah so one parent two parents, there you go, and then you'd call frame, because it's inside one, so that's kind of how that works, um, so now, what you're going to be doing is we're going to be the player, the local player, of course, and we're going to be grabbing the character of the player, and then we're grabbing the humanoid, um, so what's going to happen is, if, when a humanoid dies, or when the person kills someone, we're going to be grabbing the murderer, which is going to be the creator, and this is, I'm going to have to talk about this in a bit, because there's only, there's something about the weapons that don't work if you don't have these certain things, so it's going to be the murderer, okay, and then, uh, but yeah, so we're going to grab the murder, which is going to be the person that killed him. And then we're going to grab the character of the murder, and then the char the murder's name. So they're all kind of one part of thing. So that's going to be, if you kill someone, it's going to be you, your body, and your name. Let's say that. So now we're going to grab the value of the murder, uh, which is going to be like, I guess you could say the tagging. I don't want to say that. Um, once we grab the value, uh, oh, sorry, if it is killed someone, okay? So we're talking about if the humanoid did die. So we're going to grab the murder's value. And then we're going to do the frame.visible equals true. So this is going to be tr enabled to transparency. So this will pop up on your screen. So I forgot to disable that. So make sure that's off. Um, uh, so it's going to become visible. So that will pop up. Now it's going to grab the camera. And it's going to uh, pu put it on the murderer's character. So then you're going to be like spectating the camera of the other guy. And then it's going to say the name of the person killed you. And then it's going to wait five seconds. So five seconds for it to disappear and for you to respawn. So if you, uh, well, five seconds is a normal time. But if you want it to disappear a little bit earlier, you can change that to higher or lower. Either one works. Um, so that's pretty much it for this. This is a really simple tutorial. But um, I'm going to test it out and show you guys real quick. So yeah, so uh, we basically have everything here. 
um, what you're going to be doing is uh, just testing it. But there's a few things. Okay, so we're going to go into grab a Roblox sword because I tested this already and this does work. So we don't need to worry about that. And we need to put in the starter pack and click yes. So now we got the starter pack and classic sword. So there's something about this. So I'm pretty sure it is tagging someone if I'm right. So if we were to grab, let's see, so tag humanoid. Okay. So if you guys are trying to uh, have this to work, it may not work with every weapon you use. I will be aware of that. Uh, it, you may say it won't work or whatever. It does work. But you got to have a script that has a tag humanoid in it. Um, this is kind of a good example of tagging a humanoid because it's going to create a value. And what we use with these values are the way we just like uh, make it so we can know what we're doing in tagging the person. Um, it's kind of having to do with uh, if we didn't have a tag humanoid, we could, if someone did die, okay, and their body was on the ground and it was all red or whatever and they're dead and you kept like hitting it or whatever it would keep adding kills to your leader stat so you would like need to uh create a tag which then makes it so it only allows them to kill him one time it doesn't allow them to kill him multiple times while they're dead too and there's gonna be the undead untag so these two are basically good examples of tagging humanoids if you have more tutorial if you need more ex uh, examples on that i'll have to leave a, uh, a more of a tutorial or i'll just leave some source code and some resources you can get to uh but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to talk about with that. When it comes to these, I would mainly say you need a tag humanoid. So if you don't have a tag humanoid in one of the scripts, you'll know what I mean because it won't work. Um, so we're, I'm going to quickly pause this video and show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I am loaded in with the player one and player two. So we're going to be having the weapon in and, you know, we just have the weapon that's normal. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to be... Oh, this one has music. I'm back, guys. So... What's going to happen is I'm going to kill you and show you what looks on this screen. So we're going to go right here. We're going to kill him. So one, two, three, and boop. I'm going to grab this guy right here. And you can see uh, it says he killed you. Now you respawn. So if I were to grab this guy, let's just show you right here. So it says player killed you like that. So that's kind of a good example of how this works. Oh, God. So, uh, if you don't, if it's not working, you gotta search up how to tag a humanoid with your weapon because that is the only way for this to be popping up if I am, po am positive. Uh, also, yeah, and if you guys uh, haven't learned how to, let's see here, I wanna show you again. Maybe I'll kill you with this one. See how it was popping up down there? Let's just quickly show you there's a problem with GUIs not rescaling and uh, fitting certain screens on a certain one I have this rescale GUI plugin where you can just click it go to plugins and rescale it like that and it will literally work which is pretty weird I can just go like this if I want to and it rescales UI and what that does is when you spawn in on a phone or anything it makes it fit and everything but that's all I got for you guys today please subscribe comment like and share if you did enjoy this video uh, I hope it was enough explaining what to do uh, if you have any more questions, just let me know. And by the way, I am updating this animated worker because there was a little problem that I fixed where uh, it wasn't allowing the person to... So if you could see right here, it wasn't allowing this this guy to move his body because it didn't have a, a humanoid root part. So this guy was just moving all his parts, but he wasn't like actually moving. If you were trying to animate him moving like his legs and moving different places. So yeah. Um, feel free to watch my live stream. It's going to be up tonight if you want to go watch it. Uh, I'll let you guys know in just a bit here. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. The truth.